As the state's initiative to help victims of the 2016 flood shifts deadlines, some Baton Rouge residents say it won't be enough to tackle the troubles they see in their homes each day. Plenty of issues still out there. Fox 44's Harrison Golden spoke with one area homeowner who says conditions at her home are not getting better with no help in sight. Harrison, good evening. Hey, Chad, good evening. Angelo Moses, she's 56 years old and a two-time cancer survivor. She had just come home from the hospital in August 2016. And that's, of course, when we all remember that flood. It busted her brick foundation. Today, it sits in part on a six-inch slant across her home. I got a chance to walk there today. You could feel the slanting as you walk through the rooms. Meantime, she puts towels over the cracks and openings formed since the flood. The mold has gotten so bad, she can't walk into her living room without a mask. She says the reward that Restore Louisiana would offer would not fix her plumbing, foundation, or flooring issues. And hoping to fix those items, she's filed six appeals, all denied last month. She says after a revolving door of caseworkers, some never returning her calls, she just wants to know what agency to turn to next to make her home more livable. I asked her what kind of home she sees herself living in in another one to two years. If I think that for when it comes to my home, I'm going to be more depressed because two years have already passed. Next thing you know, it'd be another year. So it'll be going on three years. So that's like a question that I cannot answer. And she says she'll keep trying to reach out to Restore Louisiana personnel. And for the record, I did give Restore a call this afternoon. They asked me to send an email request regarding Miss Moses's case. No replies as of right now, 532 tonight. So far, more than 52,000 homeowners have completed the Restore Louisiana survey, while more than 37,000 have submitted applications. Nearly 13,000 eligible homeowners have been granted grant awards, surpassing $344 million. Now Ms. Moses is looking for her money. Harrison Golden, Fox 44 News.